welcome back to Realpreneur Principles. My name is Nikolai Ray. I'm the CEO of the MREX. Welcome to my office as I take a couple minutes each week to share my knowledge and my experience and my expertise with every single real estate investor in the multifamily space who's looking to grow their portfolios and grow as investors. So this week, the subject that I wanted to talk to you about is choosing who you do business with. And I'm not only talking about business partners, I'm also talking about investors, so passive investors, LPs, key principals, also real estate agents, bankers, insurers, appraisers, and obviously anyone who works with you or works for you. Now, this is really an important point because after many years in business, you start to realize that the reason that you're in business is because you want to do things your way. You want to be free, you want to have fun, and obviously, yes, you want to make money, right? We're in real estate investing, so the end goal is obviously to make money, but money is not the end all be all. And you want to make sure that you have money while also having fun and having the freedom to lead the life that you want to lead. So what I'm talking about when it comes to choosing who to work with, there's this two-pronged test that I like to use that is called the mmm and the ugh test. So now we're going back to being like a five or six year old. Just stay, stay with me for a couple minutes. You'll understand what I'm talking about. So when I talk about mmm or yum, I'm talking about, you know, that feeling that you have when you eat something that's really good or uh, you think about a fond memory, you know, that, that, that warm feeling inside that you have. You're like, oh yeah, that, that, that really tastes good or, or that was a real nice memory or a real nice vacation. And the other side of things is, oh, ew, gross, you know, kind of a, when you eat something that's really bad or you think about a bad experience you had. So I like to kind of use that test when it comes to bringing on uh, limited partners and investors and business associates. And also when it comes to hiring a real estate broker or hiring a property manager, or even when it comes to tenants and choosing your tenants. So I use the two prong test of, of yum or hmm and the ugh, gross kind of test to choose do I really want this person to be around me in my real estate business? So let's say we take the example of a limited partner, of a passive investor who's willing to bring, you know, $150,000, $500,000 to your fund or to your syndication. I mean, the initial response for any realpreneur or real estate investor would be to be, to be extremely happy and to be like, oh, of course I'm taking your money, right? The problem with that is as you grow in your career, you realize that, you know what? Yes, I want the money from the investors or yes, I want the brokers to bring me really good opportunities, but if it's a headache dealing with them every single time, if when they call me, it's just, you know, a lot of work and, and I don't even really feel like picking up the phone, but I do just for the money or just because I know that broker will bring me the deal, then I suggest that you really dig deep and think about the principles and the values that you establish in your strategic planning. Because obviously if, if something's wrong with the limited partner or the broker or any other person in your entourage and you have, you know, kind of a, an iffy feeling or you don't really want to deal with that person because you don't feel like the person's a really good person, no matter how talented they, ha they are or no matter how many deals they, ha they bring you or how much money they bring you, I really suggest that you think about what your values are because the minute that you take money from that person or the minute that you do business with that broker or the minute that you let that tenant into your building, it's the beginning of the end. There will definitely be really bad situations that will arise. And real estate business, real estate investing is all about highs and lows, just like any type of other business. So obviously, if you want to give yourself the best opportunity to succeed, I suggest that you don't from the start already put yourself in a position where you're going to live some really deep lows and, and kind of dip deep down into what is, is negative and bad situations. So from that point on, make sure that you think about the human side of things when it comes to doing business with LPs, passive investors, tenants, brokers, bankers, because as a real printer, you have control over your business, you have control over your life. So don't give it away for a few dollars or for a few deals. 
I hope you liked this week's video and I invite you to come back next week as we continue to dig deeper into realpreneur principles in order to make you the most successful real estate investor that you can be.